No, we're not ready for this. No one. Never were. No one. Johnny? Johnny wasn't ready. Johnny got hit by a two by four. Did he really? Poor Johnny. Poor, Poor Johnny. Johnny. Poor Johnny. Poor All right. So welcome to the serious shit show. The yeah, serious. <clears throat> So, so, so uber serious. I mean, we got some serious mixed with some not so serious. Can't see mother hand. <laughs> I mean, so let's just come right out the door and say, um, there's a lot of talk in the world as far as beliefs and everything as the end of the world. There have been movies and everything made around that. So, what do you think the apocalypse is going to be? And what would you do in this apocalypse? What kind of apocalypse? Well, that's the question. It's okay. what kind of apocalypse do you think is going to happen? <clears throat> okay, okay, if that's what you're asking. Before we start, okay, I wanted to make sure the mic was on because that would have been horrible. Checking, checking. <laughs> checking, yeah, checking. checking. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think the type of apocalypse that would happen, it would have to be some sort of natural disaster. I think it's more likely that... <laughs> something such as like a volcanic eruption and I'm talking about a giant one mm -hmm. like um cause they Man. happen under the ocean and shit you know what I mean yeah so like something like that to happen to where like uh you know it would either drown us or like it would completely change our climate so I mean imagine when those things start opening up more you know they find dead animals all the time when, when those uh, undersea volcanoes right they find like dead whales well, yeah, and our tectonic plates get completely reconstructed and stuff, but there's actual volcanoes that they're waiting to erupt, and they're so big that they have theories that um, they literally, uh, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it starts off with, like, everything being covered in ash. I mean, yeah, so it's, like, it's you like a you know, nuclear like, winter of sorts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Geothermal. And, you know, everything becomes, it, the air becomes really unfit to breathe, mm -hmm. you know, everything starts dying, so there's no plants, there's no trees, you know, it, and that type of thing starts happening. And then the climate drops to become extremely fucking cold, so it snows on top of all the ash, so, so nothing can grow. Another ice age. Basically. Another but it's caused by a volcano. Okay. So, I mean, and, you know, when you start talking about that's dinosaurs nice. and things going extinct and stuff like that, like, that's that's my theory on how that type of shit happened. I mean, that's, that's fair. I don't think that humans will necessarily go extinct, but I do think that a big amount of the population will fucking die and from something. Enough to some sort completely of change us yeah. uh, yes. on a genetic level as far as that is concerned as well as a yeah. maybe even a belief system right yeah and, and i think that's the easiest way to break it down for that you know as, as much as i would love a zombie apocalypse i would love that yes. but even even and there are people that have like there are drugs you know that they try to put in people and like it's made them go crazy but it's not exactly the same it's like zombies like it, it would be controlled I, you know what I, I mean yeah i will say that as far as like a zombie apocalypse happening I do believe it's possible. It's possible, but, but it wouldn't spread as much. I it, think people would be ready for that shit. It would, yeah. yeah, it wouldn't spread as much. Now, that having been said, the, this type of virus would have to be engineered anyway. Right. Because it's very unlikely that it's just going to happen in nature. True. Um, because of all the components that need to go into the making. I know that something like that exists for insects, but as far as what mammals are concerned and everything it doesn't affect us right um but as uh, i digress we we your version of the apocalypse i mean i feel like it's just gonna like eventually the world's just gonna run out of resources and that's how it's gonna end kind of like a, a almost a mad max type of situation mm. just you think that's more likely drive. rather than or some Armageddon kind of, or some kind the of <laughs> like some kind of global warming to where it completely changes the climate and a lot of people die out because of it and only like you know the strongest survive kind of type of deal you have to evolve exactly you have to evolve as humans I think kind of like I don't know if you guys there's this cult show called The Hundred and yeah um, yeah Kind of, yeah. kind of like something like that, where they evolved to 
deal with deal with the radio they, radio action yeah. radio fuck can't radioactivity radio <laughs> they uh they adapt to their surroundings <laughs> yeah you know? exactly. um, and see and I, that's I, how I you know when people say like talk about aliens and shit like we're just we're gonna turn into aliens I mean, you know what I mean? Point, yes. At some point, like, we're going to evolve into something like that. And especially if things went nuclear. I definitely think that, like, See, people would survive, but it would change, like, our physical. Oh, like, for sure. You know? You would that. get, uh, you definitely, but, but I think you would get a mixture of mutations of. Exactly. Uh, in, in just horrendous mutations on top of the alien mutations. Right. Who knows? It might even spawn into, uh, literal superpowers but that's a, that's a stretch of sorts yeah. well and then I have another thing you know like uh, not all mental disorders but I think a lot of them I think there are the, like resemblance of like um, it's instinctual like it, like I'm not saying we, they're superpower abilities but mm-hmm. let's, let's say something like schizophrenia like if you see certain colors on certain objects that other people don't see why are you seeing that? Animals do that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like animals see in different tints and different yeah. colors and shit like that. So, and you know, like I know for like certain birds, they uh, they see in like purples and shit for like pollen and stuff. And but like that, it, it's like that because that's their purpose. Like that's what they're supposed that, to do. Yeah, so that, that's just like how that. they were engineered. You're we're looking at the very baby steps of evolving. Right, well, and I think that when people are labeled with all these disorders and they're given medication and stuff, you're adding to... You're adding to a lot of problems. Yeah, exactly, and it's like, I don't think we're built to suppress that shit. I think we're supposed to have it, and we're having it for a reason, because fucking it's the world and society and the way things function is pretty fucked up. Learning to live with it. Learning yeah. to, to not let it be a hindrance if if that's a possibility. Right. Yeah. Um, see, I believe, as far as uh, so, uh, an apocalyptic situation, I believe it would just be sheer chaos. Everybody, there's everybody doing everything, right? Right. So we, we don't know what somebody over in China is doing right now. There's, of there There's a, a massive portion. Think of everybody you don't know what they're doing right now. And then think of how many people they know that they don't know what they're doing right now type of shit. Right. And it just, it's a massive time type of deal. So I believe the end game would be pretty much like a third ice age. Yeah. Or, and. I, I think that's, game, but, that's definitely more plausible. But I also believe that in the breakdown, in, in the beginnings of Armageddon, you're going to have uh, people trying to make something like a zombie virus. You're gonna have mm-hmm. people trying to uh, get more and more and more out of the earth and just deplete it dry, right. making it that much harsher and make, driving them that much more and, to further their own agenda. Right. And you know, and I think it's just an endless cycle. I think things are infinite in that way because, like, even if everything died on the earth, like, it's still gonna be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And things live through harsh conditions, so I don't think anything would just completely die off. Possibly humans, yeah. but I do believe that there would be, you know, either bacteria or fucking, you know, like, I mean, you think of all the creatures in the sea or, like, that burrow in caves and, you mm-hmm. know, in the towards the middle of the earth and they're still alive. I and mean, they lo- go back hundreds and hundreds of years. Lobsters are immortal. They don't die of old age. They... The only way they die is of natural predators. Yeah. So, the a lobster, if its enclosure supports this, it can keep growing. Yeah. And it grows to be huge, mm-hmm. but it's never going to die of old age. And that's something that, that's another question maybe for another time. That like, how the fuck does that work? Does that right. mean, it what what goes on in the planet if there's still not a predator to take you on? Right. Will you survive all these changes? You know? Yeah. Um, but on to the next question. Okay. Uh, what would you do to fix the world? What do you think is the world's number one issue that if this 
weren't a part of society mm. or the world, it would be a, at least a little better of a place. I think all the waste, like food, plastic, all the other, all just all waste. And you know, honestly, I mean, that is a problem everywhere, but it's a bigger problem in America. America's really bad about it. And that's honestly why I hate working in restaurants because they every just day throw they throw so much food out. They throw so much fucking food out. And you know, way back, they throw out a little bit, but they're not, they don't throw out that much with the current job I work at now. But when I used to work at Cracker Barrel, I took the trash out. I did night maintenance. And this is just the trash at the end of the shift. And there are, at the end of the night, there would be maybe 20 or 30, like, 50-gallon trash cans full of just food that they would pour out. You know what I mean? And it's, like, all this shit, and they wouldn't even let me eat it. You know? Yeah. So it's all it all goes to waste, and it's, like, we're not supposed to serve it. But, you know, you're just told to throw it away. That's so every day, is. like, it's gallons upon gallons of fucking food is just being thrown away. Yeah, and stuff food. like that happens with Chick-fil-A. They're like, you can't have you. We have to throw it all away. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't make it's any sense. policy. Why. Well, it's because that's how corporations work and stuff, but it's like, honestly, and I'm going to go off that. Um, this would be a great idea. If I, like, if I ever had my own restaurant, I would start off locally and take all the food that we don't use and either give it to the homeless or, you know, do you something with it. homeless shelter. Or you use that food for like, uh, what is it, um, compost or, you know compost what I mean? Compost, give back to the earth. Yeah, somehow. Instead of putting it in a way that's going to harm it. But have a program for that and yeah. then try to make it national. So yeah. like when I worked at Panera, they actually did that. They, the, the bread that they had left over, they would actually give to, you know, like homeless shelters and stuff. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, then that's like good. the stuff that was already used, like we could take home to use ourselves or mm -hmm. stuff like that. Right. So it never got wasted. It always went somewhere, and that's, that was the really I really like that idea. I didn't know they did that. Yeah. that's that's good. More places need to do that. For real, I mean, it's I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people that are homeless that are that way by choice. I've seen and met quite a few of them, but I know that they stay homeless. They stay. Homeless. They stay homeless. They they live. They stay homeless. They don't they don't want to do better for them themselves and some some are happy with that yeah and some aren't but yet they keep putting themselves in that position right so maybe help them and figure out how to live life properly if that's possible but you know their point is is that there are a lot of homeless people out here that life just dealt in a shit hand yeah. right and that is very true it is that happens too often, to be honest. There's so many people, it happens to a lot more than you think it does. Yeah. So. I mean, honest, I was homeless. I, I was homeless for about two days. Yeah. And I know there are people that they so long lived that I, way from the, as early as they can remember. So me being homeless is not me saying, oh, whatever to me. But it happened like that. Yeah. So I can't imagine it happening like that and me having to live that way like up to now type of shit. Yeah. That's ridiculous. And the the help programs that are out, out there, right. they're very standardized. If you don't fit a certain criteria, if we basically, if your story as to why you're homeless does not meet our criteria, right. we're not going to help you. Or the help you are going to receive is not anything yeah. of what it could be, and that's ridiculous. Right. Um, <clears throat> personally, I think I would... Uh, whew, the suspense. The suspense. <laughs> oh. What's he going to say? <laughs> um, uh, honestly, I am... I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the government. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think yeah. any of us are. That's a fair point. I think smart but people aren't. I think <laughs> that it it could serve a purpose, but all the purposes it's serving right now are not for the right reasons. No. Ex well, exactly, and you know it is a system. And some things get done, but it is very broken. And and just because it's legal doesn't make it right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You don't need... You, there are too many people nowadays doing shitty things saying that it's legal. 
but the point of the matter is, is legal doesn't mean right. There shouldn't be a system where people actually say it's legal as opposed to it being the right thing to do. And things aren't morally, like businesses are not morally right. They don't base things off morals. They base things off of profit and money. Yeah. I it's mean, all about money. But it's a competition. But the, the people are what give power to the money, right? Exactly. So a lot of those big corporations, they want their customers to feel like, hey, we care about you. We take care of you. We give they you, don't care about they, you. No, they don't fucking care about you. You think those When's restaurants and those giant stores give a fuck about your product and if you have a nice day? When's the last time a CEO of Dillard's called you up to wish you a happy birthday? Never. Or to say thank you <laughs> for purchasing this <laughs> $200 never. fucking suit that's going to rip on you as soon as you get fucking home. Never. They've never done it because they don't give a fucking shit about you. <laughs> Basically. Real shit. <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, and, and restaurants are really bad about it. Like, if you are a local restaurant, that's a little different. If it's privately owned, respect to you. If it's Matt privately respect. owned, locally owned, you you know going in that you have to have, and this is what you want to do. Yeah. You have a certain uh, respect and honor code about yourself just to get to there. But places like McDonald's, Places Crack that barrel, are chili. I don't give a fuck. Chain, fuck y'all. chain restaurants. I want you to know it doesn't matter if they came up to your face and said, "I'm so sorry that my fucking oh, they don't just yelled at you." I am so sorry. You know what? I'm gonna go have a talk with them right now. Here's one on the house. All they did was give you free food. They're talking and you know shit what? about they, you in the back. Exactly. They're completely talking shit, and they're getting mad at the. They usually get mad at the server or the cook or yeah, whoever costs them. For putting them, them in that, that position. Money. Yeah, exactly. And they have to deal with that every day. You know, they don't. <laughs> in Arkansas, in Little Rock specifically, I don't want to say everyone because I've I've worked as a server, as I'm pretty sure we all have. Yeah. But I've had really good tippers, and I've always it doesn't matter if the table has been absolutely shitty. If I didn't agree with them morally, if they were just dirty, if whatever, if I, it did not matter. I was there to give them the best service I could give. Yeah, exactly. So I'm giving the best service I can give. Little Rock, you fucking suck at tipping. All of you want to come out and spend 50 fucking dollars. <laughs> yeah, you fucking your right. Your cheesy fries, your three beers, and your mojito, but you're going to leave me a fucking penny? <laughs> I, oh man, let's that's not get started on that. that. That's I, I will say it wasn't a penny. It was three dollars on a fifty dollar tip. Yeah. I, hey, I've had shittier than that. I've had my favorite was always the old man or lady that would just put their hand in their pocket, pocket change, and just right in the table. I, here you go. <laughs> speaking of old people, I had this old lady. She didn't even leave me a tip. You know what she left me? Butterscotch. <laughs> Some hey, candy. I'd be happy with that. Candy. <laughs> it was old. I don't give a shit. Butterscotch is good. No, not old butterscotch. This what shit is... was cracked. <laughs> it didn't even. It was. I had to fucking snort this shit in order to actually enjoy it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. If it's that bad. Then no, thank you. Uh, I had one more thing, and I'm, I'm trying to get it back before I lose it. Um, it was about uh, the tables. Yeah, the tipping thing. I mean, I get tipped, I, I have gotten really good tips, but most of the time, the good tips were two groups. One, people that are not from Little Rock. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. travelers. Travelers, oh, they know how to tip because they know. They know how shitty the place is run, and they see that I'm doing a way better job than most of the servers there. And, you know, and that paid off for a lot of the shitty tables I get because the local customers are the ones that either walk out, try to get free shit, or, you know, yeah, leave, leave exactly. two bucks. Those, those are the ones that complain. Do you want me to put the puppies back together? Oh, shit. They're fine. Okay. So long as the cat door's closed, we're good. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah, I we, we don't need a baby dog eating a baby cat. I just saw him roaming around. I just want to talk about serious shit, like the situation with my dog and my cat. Yeah. It was ridiculous. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, there's so many kitties and puppies. Puppies. My dog got pregnant. It was on me. I stepped out for less than five minutes to have a cigarette. She got pregnant. She needed a good dick and all right. <laughs> um, so the puppies are born July 3rd. Uh, we're all like, oh my god. Puppies. Um, 
I finally understand what they say is a, a horrendously beautiful thing. I don't. Anyway, uh, then I brought a cat in um, before she had her puppies. I brought a cat in, and she was so skinny. She was a stray. She was just loving. I come to find out the cat was pregnant. So my cat had the cat and kitties a few days ago, right after the, the dog and the cat were both pregnant. I'm, dealing, I'm freaking out. Six kittens. Six kittens. They not not so one. They look not like two. Smeagol. They look like little little Six. baby mouse. They look like Smeagol, but not bald. <laughs> Smeagol rats. Smeagol <laughs> rats. Smeagol rats. <laughs> 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 One of them is just really good at being lazy and, you know... That one's going to be mine. That's going to be hers. It looks like he's dead 80% of the time because he's just like, I'm conservative. If I don't move, that's less I have to See, I, I relate such on a personal level. Um, oh, and I didn't get to finish my statement. Oh, yes. No, you're good. <laughs> you're good because I, I wanted to hear that. But, like, uh, the other group of people uh, for... To people that tip well was uh, other servers. Mm -hmm. Other people, like, I, I've had plenty of people locally that they either have somebody in their family that serves or, like, one of them yeah. used to be a server, so they always feel sympathetic. And that's always nice. I like those people. Definitely. I want to throw, throw something onto that, actually. What? Uh, with being a server. And I'm going to use, I've had families like this, so I'm going to use these types of families as an example. You got mommy and a daddy, and they got little Susie and little Bobby. <laughs> little Susie and little Bobby, they're around the same age. Um, you could tell little Bobby was an accident, and little Susie was planned. Um, anyway, point is. <laughs> uh, so, the kids are running a mess. And the grown-ups tell them, don't make a mess. So the kids don't make a mess. I watch this man eat his burger and make more of a mess than the two kids combined could have ever made. How the fuck are you going to be an adult, a grown-ass adult who has procreated twice and not clean up after yourself? I get it. I'm a server. It's my job to clean the table. You're a grown ass man. Grown ass woman as well. Equality. People are disgusting in Little Rock. And I end my statement. Amen. Yeah, uh, for real. <laughs> I've had probably some some people are good about picking it up. That's how I know if they yeah, have a server if, they, in yeah, their family because they know how to stack do that. Plates. Other, um, and if you're not a server and you do that, and people, people don't have to stack plates. I'm fine with picking plates up. My thing is, if someone spills a drink or like, this is the worst thing when food is just smeared on the table or like I've had kids or even old people chew up their food and spit it out like either, like not even on a napkin, like on the table. And it's Ew. just sitting there, and I'm like, I come Ew. on, man. Can you at least put that shit on a plate so I don't have to touch it? You know, like or just, spit it in goddamn gross. napkin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you know. Then I'm known not to touch the fucking napkin. I'm just like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. So, moving on. Let me see which one I want to ask now. I hold. The fate of the question. Oh my god. <gasps> okay. Dun dun dun. You guys want to see my dick real quick? <laughs> That's mine. Here's a fun one, and I'd like to see comments on this one if that's a thing. I've been, I'm still a newbie at this. Comments. Uh, hey, this is good, but. Um, <laughs> uh, what would you do with an entire truckload of grenades? I set the world on fire. With an entire truckload? Yes. You're very ingenuitive. I know. The world is a very big place. And there are other bombs in other places. So think, if I was to put a bomb in a place that was full of bombs, it would just go... Okay. I, would, I was going to say, I'm going to blow up all the restaurants that fucked me over. <laughs> yeah. um, but, but, no, no, we're going to get a little more... Um, okay, no, but... <laughs> no, but... What if, 
let's let's do this uh, infinite situation. You know, you you take the truck of grenades and go to another factory where they make grenades, <laughs> blow up all the walls, steal another truck, destroy it at the source, <laughs> 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 and just keep going on. So like, you take half a truckload of grenades, do whatever you please with them, and then you, save the others to blow up another hole in another fucking should. grenade factory. And fucking exactly. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck yourself. Fuck you. Fuck yourself. Hold on. You're not my type. Mommy's calling me. Mommy's calling me. You know, my mommy texted me earlier. My mom doesn't talk to me. I don't think it's my mommy. (laughs) Hello? Yes. Oh, I will get him right now. He's been asleep. Tim, wake your ass up. It was not my mommy. It was your grandmommy. <laughs> grandmommy. She waited us out. Grandpappy. I'm going to pinch your nipple. You're going to what? Ex- I'm going to pinch his nipple pinch. when he's least expecting it. Pinch no, the, no, the nipple. Not the nipples. Not the nipple. Oh, not the gumdrop nipples. Oh, the gumdrop not the gumdrop buttons. Why'd you say nipples? Everyone's saying gumdrop buttons, dude. You're the one saying nipples. What? <laughs> Connor, you wanna lick my candy cane? What? <laughs> when you say candy cane, do you mean it's the length of a candy cane, it's got the weird bend of a candy cane, or it's red and white like a candy cane? Neither. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> It's like, it's like, it's like right here is just like a portal to another dimension. And I just like a monstrous ham. I come, come with us. Come with me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think of a funny, I'm trying to make a witty comment about a movie. I'm trying to be that guy. You trying to be that guy? But unfortunately I'm too dumb. Alright, now to continue this the show. This podcast is becoming <laughs> something completely different. This is, this this is, is no longer scripted. a podcast. This is now a porno. <laughs> hey, we were serious about that porno. Yeah, we're joining in or not. We got this couch. Man, I'm going to need a lot more donuts. A lot more donuts? Not drugs? Donuts? Donuts are my drugs. Okay, that's fair enough. Donuts. Donuts. donuts! donuts! Do not eat donuts! <laughs> I got Phil. Donuts? There are no more donuts. This way. Alright, guys. This way. Later. This way. Later. That way. <laughs> 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 We're just yet frozen. We're just yet frozen. <laughs> So, are we doing this thing or not? Come on, guys, let's go. Where's the says, No, fuck it. I don't think it's a rose bud. This is what she does. Captain America, please, bitch. Oh! Uh, oh, no! No! Damn! She lactated on me. Oh, Billy! She lactated on me. Oh, not the lactation! <laughs> Now interrupt this broadcast for puppies. <laughs> oh, puppies! Look at puppies. home! How big are puppies? I got a puppy. I like this one. What? Have you named them yet? This one is called Boots. Hi, Boots, because she's got the little white paws. It's so original. And then there's Hunk. Namesake of his father, whose Chunk. name is Chunk. Hunk? Hunk and Chunk. Chunk. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, like Chunk was the daddy. <laughs> daddy! Hunk got all his...
this good. And, and, then, and then we got this one just chilling on top of the couch. That's Doodle Woodle. Doodle Woodle. Do 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 do. Guys, when are we gonna play cards against me? Oh, ow, boots, why are you biting my face? It's not a teat. <laughs> she thinks you're a treat? Bon appetit? That's my nose. No, it's so not. Cute. No nose knows best. <laughs> well, we could play cards against humanity. I've got a dog on my foot. Are, are we right. ah, uh, but we need Connor to join us for that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So cute. Are we gonna continue? We shall continue. I All have right. Cute little puppies by me. You should cross them. Look out. at them. Look at them. Look at them. That is a good point. Yeah. If you're not going look, in order. Look, 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 look. I man, I wish. What? Oh, so cute. <laughs> All right. Now. He doesn't really like it. Oh God, I, I had put the I had put the mic. I'm sorry. Oh, he likes my feet. <laughs> what do you prefer, jeans? Or shorts. Um. Depends. Um. Okay, it depends. Oh. Um. Okay, like I mean, if I'm gonna be outside, I'd rather have shorts in most cases, unless I am like adventuring out in the woods. <laughs> or... Sorry, you bit my foot. It tickled. She has a low tolerance for puppies. <laughs> I'm sorry, it tickled my foot. I lost foot. my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> God, just, You're just, both just like, like oh. <laughs> Hi. They like my feet. Your hey. dog has a foot fetish. Go, 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 go. These puppies are so cute. We probably shouldn't have let them out. They're so distracting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Distracted by the cuteness. <laughs> by the way, Freshly born puppies don't have fully formed ear canals. So watching them develop over the few days was pretty enjoyable. I'm a puppy. Gross. <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. What? Is that what you were saying? What? What were you talking about? Your mom. Ear holes. He's not good to talk about. Neither is mine. Actually. Which is better? Being, On, uh, well, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Which is better, being drunk or high? High, all the way. Stay high, twenty four seven. Uh, uh, no, be, be, being high life. for sure. I being drunk, I can only do it if I'm high. Yeah, you gotta or exactly. if I drink without weed, it's like I. It's because I don't have weed. <laughs> exactly. It is true. Got some gold, gold in the house. No, no gold, gold. Mm -hmm. And I've had the mo moolah. Uh, I gotta agree, being high is a lot better. Uh, I've never puked from being too high. Yeah, uh, I have I once, but it was people. not because I smoked too much. It was because I ate a raw burger that we thought we cooked because we were so high. And it looked good on the outside, and it was totally raw in the middle, and we threw that up. But that was not the marijuana. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was just us being stupid. <laughs> What's better? A. Finding the meaning of life at the expense of your ring finger and your index finger. That'd be cool. I don't have these or two fingers. B. You don't. You get to change your eye color at will, but you can only ever see people's skeletons. What about neither? <laughs> you can't. It's, yeah, that's a choose one. You got it. A and B. There was no C. What if I don't want either one of those things? What if I don't want to know the purpose of life? And maybe uh, I don't want to change my eye color. Maybe that just. I don't. I don't care to try to change my eye color, but I would rather pick B because I mean, finding the purpose of life. That's that's pretty pointless to me. <laughs> the purpose of life is whatever you make it. There's no written purpose. <clears throat> that's what I believe. Got you. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, out of those two situations, I like. The eye color, yeah, it's cool, and fucking seeing everybody as a skeleton, I mean, that just means you see everybody the same, and honestly... You should. Yeah. You I, should I, see everybody the same, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'd be fine with that, because I, I treat everyone the same. Except for my mom. <laughs> what is your worst fear? My worst fear? Ooh. 
Well, if you're talking like psychological fears or like like physical fears, like heights and bugs or both. Both. Fear. What is fear in common? Um. Physical would probably be heights. I'm very terrified of heights. I love heights. It's not that I'm terrified of being up heights. The fact of like, I don't know. It's just a weird. It's hard to explain. Yeah. Well, um, for me, probably the ocean. Um, and I, and I don't mean like I love the ocean. I love studying it, and I'm not afraid to get on a boat or anything like that. But, like, I'm talking about a situation where you are lost at sea, and any situation you turn around, all you see is sea and sky. You don't see anything else, like a void type situation. But you're in the water, and it's not just that that surrounding lake. You don't see any land anywhere. You also don't fucking know what's below you. So, like, that, that is just a panic situation for me. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, I, I could that. not do that. I'd probably pass out and drown. <laughs> I, uh... <clears throat> I, uh... That's a physical fear. That's my fear, just at, like... Or, like, outer space. Leviathan. Like, if I was an uh, astronaut floating in lost space... Fucking kill me! I'll just take my helmet off. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm fucked, guys. <laughs> I got a dog behind me. <laughs> so you slowly floating away, Hi. and you just think of it so quickly, you're like, <laughs> nope, <laughs> <laughs> not doing this. <laughs> Your fellow astronauts are just like, oh my god, <laughs> no. <laughs> Turns out you were just really stoned. You forgot you were you're still connected. <laughs> freaked out <laughs> and I just see a dead like decapitated body floating <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we can would you bring him in at that point like would you want to be brought in at that nah, point nah he's just a souvenir just fucking me. like you see a rocket ship and you see a dead body being dragged behind it <laughs> oh my um, god <laughs> you got out of the picture Austin's not in the picture. Hello. Hello. Austin. Rosie took my place. Sheila Mel be voicing me. <laughs> so the dog talking. Yeah, we got we got. Scoot um, huh? back a little bit. Me? No, Austin. Oh. No, I'm blocking her. It's okay. You can still see her tummy. <laughs> She's gonna be so hurt. <laughs> She's a dog. <gasps> she is my daughter. <laughs> uh. How do you feel people should solve disputes? Oh, what do you mean, like personal disputes or social, like just varying social? disputes? You know, like what's the least best solving way of dispute for something like you called me a mean name? To I mean, sit there and talk to them face to face. Okay, I actually you, yes. Well, because most people don't do that. I think families and stuff do that. Some of them. Uh, some obviously don't. Some obviously don't. Yeah, but, um, you know, like like close friends and stuff, or, you know, especially, you know, your significant other or whatever, people work that out. But most people, like, nowadays, everything's on here. I don't want an apology, on like, on a text. You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to apologize to me, I want you to fucking talk to me. It's people... Like, you know, just unnecessary posts, like, people think, like, yeah, things are good, they, like, when they do that. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They, uh, post that you think connects with what you're going through. Right. Oh, to anybody I've ever wronged, I'm sorry. Well, because of that, there's a lot of communication problems. People yeah, don't people, hit people up because they see what they're doing on their profiles or Snapchat or Instagram or whatever, so people, they feel like they don't need to talk to you. People but, don't know how to talk to one another anymore. They kind of don't. A lot of, like, <clears throat> a lot of people, I mean, I see people on the phones constantly, so, I mean. When's the last time you had an honest-to-God conversation where in that conversation your phone, A, never interrupted, B, was never brought up, or C, never referenced? Right. Last night. So I, I, I put my phone away. You know what I mean? Like, I purposely will turn it off or put it where put I... Put it away where I can't even reach it. Yeah. Because so yeah, I don't, don't, don't want to be... Grab it. I don't yeah. want to be plugged in 24-7. You I, know what this thing? Go across <laughs> the room. I, I want people to be able to unplug from these eventually. I probably, I probably watch porn more on my phone than I really text. Text? I, fair enough. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'd rather watch porn on my phone than my computer. Dude, with a nice HD screen. 
But anyway, I digress. <laughs> the point is, is that if you're not watching porn and you're just like texting apologies and things that really you need really be watch said. the porn, okay? Everyone needs to watch the porn. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to something just that needs to be heartfelt, do it face to face. That's right. where you build trust. That's where you mend. Relationships. Another thing, like the fucking happy birthday posts. The people, like seriously, the people that post on my wall are people that never talk to me. Mm-hmm. They never talk to me. And I'm like, why the fuck? You know, and the, but the other people that don't post on my wall, they make an effort to either call me or, you know, like they show up unexpectedly or have a gift or, you, exactly. know, you know, something like that. Like, no, we're doing something. I got plans tonight. You know, we're going to go do this and I yada, yada. I intentionally... <clears throat> My birthday is not a really hard secret to find out. I, I leave enough clues and hints throughout people knowing me. But if you ever ask me, I will generally not tell you. This is just a fun game I started doing. Um, but on Facebook, I put that my birthday was August 8th, 1895. And you'd be surprised how many people still wish me a fucking happy birthday on August 8th. That it tells you the year. Is it coming up? That's coming up in a week. In a week, your Facebook's gonna blow up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna post something like really trolly, like "Happy Birthday." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna do it just to piss you off. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it a really long, goofy ass fucking message, and I'll make you laugh. You, just you should <laughs> string in like the first world war or something in the <laughs> So like Archduke Ferdinand Archduke Ferdinand. Something about that. Just be like, yeah, and then Archduke Ferdinand got shot and World War One started and fucking yeah. Well I'll, 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 it was birthday, a shit Austin. time, but you lived through it. You lived through it, Austin. I'm proud of you. Happy then birthday. World War Two happened, no one saw that coming. <laughs> Dark, but <clears throat> shit needs to be more heartfelt. So when is your actual birthday? He's not gonna say it on the podcast. I'm gonna say it right now, and I'm gonna leave it alone. My birthday is the. Said it so fast you couldn't throw it. <laughs> but uh, I heard it because I rap at those speeds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's July fifth. If I get a goddamn birthday wish on August eighth, I'm, I'm I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna need some Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> some okay. Flintstone, the gummy ones or the. Uh, hey, I'll just buy I'll just buy you, buy you some of those on August eighth. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite TV show? Skins. Hmm. Skins, what you wear, silly. What's your Bitch. favorite TV show? <laughs> Skins. <laughs> My sister watches that. It's pretty good. I haven't seen it, though. I've watched it all the way through twice. You know, there's not too many TV shows that catch my attention nowadays. Um, Breaking Bad is still one of my fucking favorite TV shows. I like The Hundred. The Hundred's really good. good. Breaking Bad was really good. I'm waiting for the season, the fifth season to drop on Netflix. You're not going to get it. Breaking Bad. They're not going to give it to you. They're going to give it to me. It's supposed to be like in a couple months, and I'm expecting it in a couple months. If I don't get it in a couple months, I'm going to be pissed off. They uh, left me on a goddamn cliffhanger, bro. What about... Okay, this one could be an interesting one. This what would you make a law if you could? A law? A law. Uh, I don't want to... <laughs> the first thing that popped in my head was... Marijuana. <laughs> because we've been waiting on that, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen eventually. Got it, right? Um, it's not like everything's run by corporations. <laughs> uh, I think one thing that's really pushing it off is like pharmaceutical companies. Yes. Yeah, well, I mean, 
that is that is honestly the biggest thing because so many uh, pharmaceutical companies, uh, doctors, and other things like would just stop, you know, if uh, people had access to marijuana everywhere. I mean, because they would need in, uh, a lot of anxiety pills or sleeping pills. I mean, you know, there's a whole market. You, for it. you they would the big pharmaceuticals would be reduced to no bigger than Walgreens. Yeah. And they don't want to do that because they're too good for that. Right. Um, personally, I would make it completely okay for two consenting adults to battle to the death. Amen. Yeah, that, that's pretty fucking fair. Yeah. I, I, I wish it was totally legal to just fucking punch someone in the face if they were being absolutely stupid. Yeah. Like, if there were some guidelines to where, like, if this person is, like, under these guidelines right here, you punch them in the face, no one will do anything. <laughs> oh, the cop has just some flashcards he's looking. He's like, oh, oh you could, you could. Yeah, yeah you could. Yeah, that guy, right? Fuck that guy, right? <laughs> like, fuck him. Like, you know, the judge would fucking be uh, like, yeah, I hate that shit too. Case closed, you're good. Like, can you imagine being in the courtroom for something, but the judge says one dicky thing? You have the legal right to go up and punch him in the face. <laughs> and the cop can't do anything. He just, like, He's within his rights. <laughs> right. It's like, oh, I would love that. I would love that. That'd absolutely. Uh, see you up on the witness stand and just oh like, gosh, he's so being a dick and you just try to climb over to him. I have a fucking Oh, lap. God. What's a sound that drives you batshit crazy? A sound that drives me batshit crazy. Ooh. Um, The sound of people chewing. <laughs> It drives me absolutely utterly. That one's annoying, and some people are very annoying when they do this. It's just particular people that, like, are really bad, but it doesn't bother me too much. Uh, personally, it's, okay, I get super goosebumps, and my ears fucking, like, react real bad when, um, I, I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. Like, when your hands are wet, and you have, like, plastic, uh, you know, or uh, something like that, and you get that... That, that, but a towel, doing that with a towel, that yeah. feeling, that's a feeling that I effing hate. I, I hate, hate the feeling of towels. Oh. I hate that feeling, but like, um, yeah, the, the sound too though, cause like, uh, I, I can't think of, um, I don't know. It just happens. It happens a lot at work. Like, it, especially if you've got boxes or, you know, mm -hmm. it's. <laughs> uh, it's just that scraping noise, you know. It's like, baby tail. Feel you. Uh, worse than nails on a chalkboard to me. You so cute. We got two more questions, and then I gotta go check on Andre. Okay. But we could come back. We should be an intervention. Put a chicken nugget up. Uh, put a chip, a chip, chicken nugget. Chip, a chicken nugget. A chicken nugget. Chicken, chicken, chicken nuggets. Burger. Uh, burger. Burger. Uh, but uh, two questions, and then. Uh, uh, what did I say? What's that word? What? It's not an intervention. No. Oh, shit. Intermission. Inter in intermission. Intermission. Yeah. Intermission? Intervention. <laughs> intervention. You can see where I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, two are totally different. Um, what's the best season and why? Like, season of the year? Yeah, what's your favorite season, essentially? Right. Spring? It's not too hot, it's really not too cold. Me as the spring type. I was born in the spring. Yeah. Very late spring. I prefer the fall, like weather wise, because spring, too much pollen. Uh, it's nice, but too much pollen. Mm. Yeah, I'm fucking. Yeah, I don't know. I like fall though, because it's very beautiful. I like Weather's not too cold, but it's not I fucking. I like fall and spring. Fall is nice. Summer's too hot for me. So it's perfect for me. I'm always cold. I hate so much. I hate the heat. I love to I, I prefer days. winter. Like, I, I do, but fall's better than winter. I hate the winter. I get too damn cold. Well, I that's just, just too damn bad. <laughs> too you're, damn bad. You're, you're weak, your bloodline is weak, and you will not survive the winter. <laughs> I will survive. <laughs> All three of us. Uh, last question. Oh no. Dun dun dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what is man's greatest advancement? 
in recent, like, recent times. So you can argue fire is, we're not talking stone and shit, we're talking as soon as technology hit and you could have cell phones. What is man's greatest advancement? Um, I don't want to say great, uh, that's, see, that's very, um, that's iffy. Because you could say something like advertisement because people have learned to advertise things through social media and like get things across way quicker because of the technology, internet and phones and everything. Anyone can just take a picture, snap a video, send it to anybody. But it's an advancement, but I think in some cases it's fucking hurting us. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Most definitely. It's I doing mean, a lot these, more damage these are advancements. Than these these are advancements and but the, and they're not human, so you can't apply good or bad. You have to look at is it, it it's just them. If it didn't have that interaction with humans and let's say somebody who wasn't a human and not prone to the mistakes that humans are, let's assume it was the ideal alien life form. Okay. And they use it for as it was intended. Right. What do you think? Uh, Speaking of technology and stuff, I don't know if this is true or not. I just saw it on Earth Cool. But I saw something that said, um, you know, like, you know, the Alexa thing? Yeah. yeah. Apparently, it called the cops on a guy who was abusing his girlfriend. I don't know if that's true or not, but I saw it. I would hope it's true. That's now, cool. it, the artificial intelligences and stuff, like, they, again, those are iffy. I, They do. They don't communicate right, but they they communicate in their own language. And what I mean by this, like, I've seen, uh, this is something I've actually witnessed, um, and I've actually tested it out myself before as well, but um, I've watched several live streams of people taking two, like, artificial uh, intelligence or whatever, and just bots that talk to each other. They got two of them to talk to each other, and they just leave them on live stream for several days for people just to watch them. You know, a lot of it's nonsense, but yeah. they go back and forth. And after a while, they start, you know, they start talking about some crazy shit, you know, and it's like really intelligent. And then they start picking up on like, oh, well, what do humans think or what do they think of art? So they start coding their, like, they start speaking in code. So you can't understand that's but they crazy. do. So, and it's not that they're plotting against us or anything like that, but it's it was created by us, so it's like, it's it's there, but it's it's, it's, it's a thin yeah. line of weird yeah. shit. I don't we're, know. We're breaching the reality of what... It's really weird, okay? Uh, and But people have created it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's not, it's not living beings, but it's... Damn These close. programs that we fucking created. I would I, off of that. It kind of talks about. I guess it's roughly the same shit. I was gonna say it's the internet. Yeah. The internet is the most abused thing in the world. That is true. I mean, especially if you get into the dark web and shit. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't even know what fucking happens on the lot so. And that's the crazy shit about it. Yeah. But because a lot of the internet is not monitored. No, <laughs> it is not. That's, that's, it's... I have the shit you see on Google, that's like, that's just the surface. Yeah, that's the surface. That is a... Uh, that's public. That's an engine. That's yeah. a search engine. That's public shit. You, you gotta type in the actual domain shit to get to the dark web. Yeah. And once you do, you wish you hadn't. In most cases. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you find some web. really good hookups for acid. <laughs> Oh boy. Those are far in between. Yeah. Well, it's Just not like you can Underneath the gore people. and the snuff films and the child pornography. Child pornography yeah. and the sex slaves. There's one little Fred dude, he's like, hey man, I've got some killer acid here, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of this shit. No, 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 I ain't trying to rip you off. I'll do it with you. Like, you don't trust me. Oh man. I'm gonna have me a cancer stick. That sounds good. It's really um, good. I think honestly, uh, did we go through the list? Pretty much. There are so much. Just skip. Ah, that's cool. Well, I, I think we probably should go ahead and end it. That, that was a good. That was a good. I feel that was pretty good. Fifty minutes to an hour. 
We touched base on a lot of good shit. Yeah, that was actually a really good flowing conversation. Uh, we didn't talk about nonsense too much. Yeah. Look at this cute little pupper. Just sitting in my wacky. Okay, well. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching our shit show. And always and come to us shit. for your shitty, shitty needs. We got shitty puns, shitty fun, shitty conversations. And shitty me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty shitty. But, you know, how much garbage is on the internet? Uh, More I, than I can fathom. Bro. More than I can So fathom. much fucking garbage. See, I don't... I <laughs> We're lucky the garbage field isn't a physical place for the garbage on the internet. Because I'm going to put you down. If, yeah, if the I'm internet... Involved. Like, if what we posted on the internet was physical, like physically filled up, our earth... Oh my god. We, we, we <laughs> have to learn to live on top of that. You... There, uh, there would be no brown. So you think about all the garbage that we put out in the universe, and then you think about all the fucking internet that's just floating around, like, through satellites and stuff, like... <laughs> you tell me it's not affecting our brains. Did that blow your mind yet? Okay, e episode over. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the mic.